welcome back to my next video for more videos click on that subscribe button and for the latest updates from me click on that bell icon and never forget to subscribe my channel as well as to share the videos with your social media friends and if you like this channel then recommend to others Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video in VHDL language. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about process. So one of our commenter has commented to tell about the process and importance of it. Okay, so that's the reason I'm making this video for him and for you all. Okay, so without wasting time, let us start. So before that, I want to tell you if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe this channel. It will give a great support to me. And also, if you want any projects related stuff, then you can visit projects.ytvdgrab. Dot com there you can easily buy small small projects with very few cost okay and if you want to donate something just you can have a donate button donate button in your description so you can donate me anytime okay it's your wish so let us start so with the very first basic thing is nothing but is what is a process in VHDL language so basically what is a process so basically in Verilog we don't have this process in VHDL programming when we go then we find a process and many of my videos in my previous videos also you can able to see that I have used process sometimes I use process once or sometimes I use process twice or thrice okay so why people use once or what is thrice why they use and the, those kind of things today we will be clearing in this video so don't skip my video watch till end to get complete knowledge of it so what is a process a process is nothing but is a keyword used in the VHDL lang VHDL programming language okay so in VHDL program as I told you in Verilog we does never use it in VHDL only we use it so and next thing is it is only used in behavioral description modeling style okay so we have different styles right structural modeling data flow modeling gate level modeling then behavioral modeling so then we have different circuit level modeling in my previous video in theory classes I have told you right circuit level modeling I never used to explain in this okay that is nothing but your backend programming language the so backend programming so that's the reason I never used to tell you so these are different programming languages in that we use only in behavioral program behavioral modeling style only we use this VHDL with use this process keyword okay so only behavioral we use it never we never use it in a gate level or structural or data flow or any other modeling style the next point here comes is inside a process there are many statements which are is executed and some components are defined for example if loop we define it inside a inside a process so cases we define it switch cases for loops we define it so many kinds of statements can be defined here and components can be defined inside a process statement okay process it's a nothing but say it's a keyword and it is used in the behavioral description modeling and basically it is in that we use different different loops we have basically if you know if we tell very basically then we call it as a loops we have inside it and the next thing is statements present inside a process are executed sequentially means one by one the statements are executed if I written one execution like Q is equals to D or D, D equals to Q those kind of things I have written then it will be executed one by one okay and operation is done then you are not operation those kind of operation I will be telling you with an example in this complete video so see the to total video so basically, basically you need to understand that the process which is the statements which are present in a process are executed sequentially means one by one so next thing what does this process do okay whenever you are you are executing a code at that time this process gets waked up okay inside there may be one process in one program or there may be a mini process in a one program all the processes will be executed at a time understand my point so all the process will be getting uh, waked up at a time and they will be running simultaneously I will be telling you I have told you that it is process inside the process where uh, inside the process statements are run sequentially but all the process runs basically in a parallelly so the process in a VHDL descriptions are executed concurrently nothing but a parallel if you have a 10 process in one program all the 10 programs will be executed parallelly all the process will be executed parallelly and the statement within a process which are executed sequentially have a difference in it okay so these are the two things which this process do in basically when we write a VHDL programming language okay let us see an example with the single process statement and we will have a double process statement example also okay if you see this code 
it's written for your like we have written like a and b or operation is done with d and e signals okay so basically to get an e here only one process is there so and this process will execute the statement sequentially so that's the reason you can able to say this statement will execute sequentially first this will execute then this will execute and after this this will execute and then you will get a g so sequentially you will be executing one by one statements okay line you can have or statements you can have okay so basically single in single statement will execute sequentially one by one one by one it will be executing the basic diagram if you see circuit level diagram so this is the gate level modeling style which we have and and gate for a and b we get an c d and e f and here we got a g that's the reason i have not written that c and f okay that this uh, in this program or example you can have a look okay so this is an example where i have used a process okay single process I, it may be not it may, this program is only you this is a small program but in my difficult programs where i will be going with two to three processes at a time because every should everyone should run parallelly so that it uh, if i have an adder subtractor and this addition operation and subtraction operation of the two numbers should be divided then i can't wait i can't write in single process i need to wait for addition operation to be done then i need to wait for a subtraction operation done then my division operation will be executed understanding my point so just understand so if i have three state three to four statements in single process then one by one it will be executed and it takes lot of time means your delay will be getting increased okay if i do parallelly if i execute all the things parallelly let, let us see the second example if you see a second example it will be like in this process so you have here two process see here i have one process here ending up and here one more process i have ending up here okay so these two process will execute at a time so it will be seeing that clock event and clock event equal to 1 then this will be executed and also this will also get executed means two registers if i take if i have a two d flip flop registers and this two should be done at a time the value should be inserted at a time it should not be like of after the first register is filled second register should be filled after second third fourth uh, like that i don't want sequentially it takes a lot of time to fill that register and then to perform this operation right so i want all the registers to be fill the value with at a time then what i will do i'll write in one single process where a register will get executed all the values will be inserted then i will have a b register also that will be getting executed at the same particular point of time so that's the reason i use this process number of times people use number of time this process in a single code that because of this reason only hope you have understood this video if you understood this video then please subscribe my channel and you will be finding my video links many of the things in my description also just have a look of them if you like my theory classes then please subscribe to the theory classes also watch my theory classes also i tell most inter interestingly this all the theory classes that's all for today if you like this video please like that press that like button and if you dislike it please dislike also and just comment me why you have disliked me because i will rectify myself thank you for watching this video and my name is manohar have a good day thank you